In this video, we're going to explore how to use sequence chunks in Digital Performer for songwriting and arranging. I've started off by creating a V-Rack. I've done that from the Chunks window mini menu, and in the V-Rack, I've set up my BPM drum machine. This is BPM, and you can see that BPM has its own built-in pattern sequencer. I'm going to use BPM as a fancy metronome for my composition, and because it's in a V-Rack, it'll be available to any sequence chunk that I want to use. In my first sequence chunk, I've set up a track to record. I've just got a couple of ideas that I'd like to work with. I'll hit record and play some basic phrases. So there's about 30 seconds of music. I'll locate to the beginning of the first phrase and drop in a marker. I'll call this the A section. The second phrase starts at bar 4, so I'll drop in another marker and call that the B section. And then here at bar 6, I'll drop in a third marker to describe the C section. So now I've described three two-bar sections of music. Now watch this. I'll switch to the tracks window and I'll select the A section. The Tracks window has a menu that allows me to choose Copy Selection to New Sequence. So the name of the new sequence is A. In this new sequence, the A section is going to start at bar number 1, and because it's a two-bar phrase, I'm going to manually set the sequence end time to the start of bar 3. So now over in the Chunks window, you see the new sequence chunk that is just the A section of my original sequence. I'll switch back to the original sequence and select the next two bars of the music. Copy selection to new sequence, and I'll name that B. B is also a two-bar phrase, so the start is bar one, and the end is the beginning of bar number three. There's the B section sequence chunk. I'll go back a third time to the original musical idea and select the last two bars. I'll make a new sequence chunk, and that will be the C section. So now I have the A section, B section, and C section as separate sequence chunks. What I'll do next is create a song. I'll do that from the Chunks window mini menu. A song is a container. This is the song window. Watch this. I'll start dragging sequence chunks into the song window. I'll drag over two of the A sections. Then I'll drag in a B section. Then I'll drag in another A section. Here's another B section. And then I'll drag in a C section. You can see how I'm starting to build up an arrangement. I'll set the tempo of the song to match the original sequence tempo, and now I'll play a little bit of the song. The song starts with the first A section. At bar 3, the second A section plays. At bar 5, the B section plays. After that, the next A section plays. So there's the beginning of my composition. Now I'm going to set up another sequence chunk. Here's the new sequence. I'll switch over to the sequence editor. I'll call this sequence chunk Melody. In the Melody sequence chunk, I'll delete the default MIDI track. I'll add in a mono audio track. I'll name the audio track Melody. I'll set the input of the track to Guitar. I'll use the track selector list to hide the conductor track. I'll arm the audio track and get it ready to record. Next, I'll double click on the bottom of the consolidated window and open the song window. Now I can see the song window and the melody sequence at the same time. I'll drag that melody sequence chunk into the song. I'll drop the melody sequence into the song at the same starting point as the first section A. I'll enable the song in the chunks window. With the melody chunk selected, I'll go to the Song Window mini menu and set the record sequence. This will allow me to record into the melody sequence while it plays within the song with the rest of the arranged chunks.
there's a bit of melody recorded in over the original guitar. You can see the new audio, and you can see that the melody sequence chunk in the song window now reflects that it's longer because of the recording. Check this out. I'll select the entire contents of the song window. I'll merge the markers from the original sequence chunks into the song. I'll go back to the song window mini menu and select merge chunks to new sequence. I get a window that allows me to merge tracks with identical names. Click OK and here's the new sequence. I'll enable the new sequence and set its tempo. That's so the BPM drum machine in the V-Rack continues to play at the correct tempo. And here is the sequence that I've just created. It contains the rhythm track and melody track and all the markers. I'll play it from the top. The cool thing here is that I can go back to the song and make changes in the arrangement. I can add new song windows and have multiple versions of the arrangement. And this is a quick look at how to do songwriting and arranging using sequence chunks within Digital Performer.